it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title is my Q&A video as well as announcing my giveaway winners now first let me get into the good stuff you guys want to know who won my giveaway the winners have already been contacted but the first place winner whose name is listed down below wins either the $100 Target or Amazon gift card congratulations to you now my second place winner wins the either $40 Amazon or Target gift card and I'll list that person's name down below as well and then you guys know I said I was only going to pick two but you guys are amazing like can I say I have the best supporters out there you guys make it so that I want to choose I want to choose everybody if I could but I can't but I did choose a third place and they will win a $20 Amazon or Target gift card and that person's name is listed down below as well so, so congratulations to the winners and don't fret if you guys did not win you guys know I'm I will be doing another one at 25k and you guys are pushing me very fast to 25k which thank you guys so much but you guys want my money to be spent and I don't mind spending my own coins on you guys out there. So stay locked for my next giveaway. Now without further ado, let's get into my Q&A. And I was surprised you guys asked so many questions because I was like, I didn't make it a requirement for you guys to ask questions. I said you could, but you didn't have to for the giveaway. But you guys asked me over 110 questions. Of course, I'm not going to be answering 110 questions, but I will answer as many as I can. So if you guys want additional explanations on some of these questions, leave it down below. And I'm happy to elaborate on some of these things but let me get through as many of these a hundred as I can so first question best suggestions for summer crochet styles if you guys saw my beach friendly vacation friendly cruise friendly all that hair friendly video those pretty much translate into the hairs that I think will be good in 2018 now I think man concept is a very good brand for summer just because they have a lot more color options as well as free dress so if you're looking for summer and you don't want to be bland in the summer you don't want to do like a dark color like me right now you want to do color i think main concept and free trust have some good hair so if you want to look at the main concept beach curl main concept waterfall curl or free trust beach curl all good summer options next question what advice do you have for small youtubers just starting or people looking to start a youtube i'd say number one don't start it for the coin because it's not in there if you think you're going to start it for the coin go ahead and close that laptop right now don't even get started on this because you got to do it for the love of it so i would say number one do it for the love two don't have to start out with good equipment because truth be told I ain't even got good equipment what what do I look like saying you got to get a MacBook when I ain't got a Mac why would I say you need to get a cannon when I don't even have a cannon why do I say you got to get a backdrop when I'm using the stairs of my house so say number two don't start at expensive if you're just starting out and number three look into the lens of the camera don't look into the screen I had that issue very early on coming up if you notice my old videos I'm looking at myself dead into the screen look at the lens so those are my three tips for somebody starting out who's a small YouTuber. I've always wondered what you did before crochet in terms of protective styling. I was the worst at protective styling before crochet braids. What I did before, right after college is when I went natural. So I went natural in February of 2013. Then for the first two years right out of college, I did half wigs. I was in a straight half wig situation. Two years straight, anybody could tell you I was half wigging it up. Then I started doing blowouts consistently. Consistently blowouts, hair was being heat damaged to the gods once every two weeks then I started doing partial sew-ins so I thought I was protecting my hair a little bit more but I was really just protecting half of it and then the other half would be out and exposed so then I realized I had a lot of heat damage if you watch my natural hair journey video I go through it specifically now it's an old crappy video but I do talk about it and in that video you can see I have a lot of heat damage right here but the rest of my hair is curls popping so I said I need something where all my hair is covered a hundred percent of my hair is covered and crochet hair was the deal because I didn't have to have any of my hair exposed how do you apply your eyebrow pencil or powder I use pencil I'm too heavy-handed for powder and gel so I am a pencil person pencil always gives me my natural brow I do have a brow video that I will be posting very soon so be on the lookout for that do you like main concept beach curl or the main concept pre-stretch waterfall hair better of course I like main concept waterfall hair better I think I might have said it in that video that I said scratch everything about main concept beach curl I love waterfall hair better I just love it how do we reevaluate our edges with these crochet braid installs um, now if you guys know I've never been to a professional to get my crochet hair done I've always always either done it myself my mom's done it so I go off of two people who do not do hair professionally we do not do hair professionally so we don't braid tight I don't have never been to somebody who 
crap my edges up or yank my edges up into affinity if you guys ever know i'm going to show you a little secret right now i don't even gel down the other side of my hair so a lot of times my edges are out that's probably why i part it you guys ask for i want to see versatile styles with you and it's probably why i don't do it a lot is because i keep this side of manipulated so i put like jamaican black castor oil on the side my part is not so on my part side i pretty much just gel these down i pretty much let these be out like i keep these exposed because i do not do not want my edges destroyed in any style that I do. I'm very much so edge conscious. I want my edges there. So I keep my edges. These aren't braided down. This is just hair like my hair is out. I say make sure you let your stylist know. If you don't do it yourself, make sure you let your stylist know. I don't want no tight braids. I'm okay if you don't do the tightest that you got to do it. I'm fine. You ain't got to pull my hair into infinity. You ain't got to pull my hair back in time to do it effectively. How old are you? I would say 25. I'm old enough to be your mom as I'm 52. Well, shout out, girl. Thank you for thinking I'm 25. Now, I am 28, but surprisingly, my mom is 47. Are you originally from North Carolina? Is it expensive out there? I am originally born and raised in North Carolina is where I spent most of my days. I was born out right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. I've always lived right, si right outside the county over from Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to school in Raleigh, North Carolina. So at NC State, shout out Wolfpack. And then I moved to Charlotte. So I'm about 45 minutes from where I grew up. Is it expensive to live here? Absolutely. If you live in any major city, you guys know it's probably getting gentrified on up. So it's getting more expensive and more expensive and more expensive and Charlotte is no different than any big city. What are your plans as far as taking your YouTube channel to another level? Honestly, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I'm okay with the level that I am at right now. Everybody says you gotta take YouTube to the other level, but I'm very fine with the level that I am. I love the fact that I'm able to do this as a hobby. I don't have any pressures on me. I don't have a manager anybody to, to weigh down on me i ain't gotta take 10 percent and give it to somebody else and i ain't gotta worry about sponsored content i don't have to worry about getting content out on a specific day and all that i love the level that i am right now it's fun to me when youtube stops being fun for me I don't know what I'll do. You guys ever notice there are bigger YouTubers out there, big YouTubers who take like month long, week long, three weeks, four week breaks and they haven't put content out in a while. They burn themselves out. When you take your YouTube to another level, sometimes you're also taking your exhaustion and all that to another level as well. And I'm okay. I'm okay with working my 40 hours a week, coming home, having a little bit of time to edit and all that, market my content and all that. So. I'm okay with the level that I am right now. I don't ever think I have, if it goes to another level on its own, that's cool, but I'm not actively pushing it to be on another level. I'm curious of what you do for a living other than YouTube. If you guys watch my vlog video, you guys know I work in human resources, which specifically I work in talent acquisition. So it's called talent acquisition. I work there. So the person that you talk to whenever you're interviewing for a job, the person who greets you when you come, the person who gives you an overall good candidate experience, I'm that person. So people ask me, why is it so easy for you to connect on YouTube? Because in my real job, I have to connect with people. I have to sell my company to people. I have to bring people into the door of my company and be like, do you want to work here? Please work here. Please, please, please. So that's what I do in my nine to five. So when I come on YouTube and I bring this energy, I keep it 100. I keep the same energy that I have at work when I talk to you guys. What was your major in school? I was a business administration with a concentration in finance and human resources. Would you ever do YouTube full time? Not sure if you've been asked this before. I have been asked this before, but I can never answer it enough. No, 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 no. Not a full-time YouTuber over here. You don't got a full-time YouTuber over here. You've got somebody who I love doing it the way it is. There's nothing wrong with having multiple streams of income. If YouTube is a, it can become a stream of income for me one day. Right now, I'd say it gives me a little bit of cash, of cash to pay for giveaways and things like that, pay for hair and stuff. But it's nothing extreme. But if it comes to a point where it can be a stream of income, I would love it. But I would never stop working full-time because multiple, like I said, streams of income are always better than one stream. Now I. I would also say because the thing about social media and the thing about apps and the thing about computer and technology, we also used to have MySpace. People remember MySpace too, don't you? And remember when that disappeared and then Facebook came and then IG came and then Vine was a thing and Vine disappeared. The thing about relying solely on the internet for my income just doesn't sit well with me. I'm an 80s baby, so I've seen generations of things. I think a lot of millennials and a lot of people who are maybe generation whatever, the 90s, 
90s and thousands kids are. They don't know anything before, so they think everything is gonna be here forever. I'm not one of those people, I'm a realist. I'm somebody who looks at things and is like, is it going to be viable for me to be 50 years old and still be making coin from it? If it's not, then I'm not gonna do it. What is going on with your real hair underneath the crochet hair? It's growing, honey. Y'all gonna see it in, I'll do more natural hair videos. Let me know down below if you wanna see more natural hair type videos. I do not mind doing them. What are your thoughts on those who say that now in 2018 it's too late to try and be successful on YouTube? Do you think the YouTube market is oversaturated? Um, two answers to that. I do not think it's too late to start your YouTube channel in 2018. Do I think YouTube is oversaturated? I absolutely do. So those are two different answers. But yes, I think you can start at any point in time. There's no point in time, but the market is oversaturated. If you ever notice, we all are coming out with some of the same content around the same time. It's hard to be unique. It's hard to be genuine when there's over millions of people on YouTube. You think you're being creative sometimes. Sometimes I'm even thinking I'm being creative with this idea ain't nobody thought of this and I'm on YouTube I'm like dang it's been done before so many people want me to do reviews on like hairs like trendy tresses right now because all the youtubers we all got contacted at the same time believe me if you see another youtuber doing something we all got contacted by the company at the same time but with me I'm always like I know they sent this to everybody like I'll do it when I want to do it but I don't want to do it in the peak of everybody doing it at the same time I don't want to be part of the herd so that's the thing about YouTube you can be on it at whatever point but you got to figure out what works the best for you in terms of your content even if you think you're being your creative you're not a smoky eye has been done an eyebrow tutorial has been done a glowy makeup tutorial has been done it's about personality at this point it's not about content more or less it's more so about personality what you bring to the camera is different than somebody else is bringing to the camera my personality is totally different than taste pink and I love her personality and we all love her personality the key is me our personalities are different I love her content I love what she's talking about but I watch her videos because she is uniquely her I love Tiana Woe. I love her content I like watching her but I like her personality we're all from different areas of the US sometimes you connect with people because their personality is different their demographic is different the geographical location is different you might look at me and be like yes I love my 28 year old Talia Levon you know from the south but then you're looking at somebody else and you're like oh she's from Atlanta you might like just the dragoness she's from DC we got everything going for us personalities are different so like I say you can have the same content as somebody else because we are oversaturated but you got to bring something different to the camera in terms of being yourself next question what is your favorite hair color to rock I love a t1b27 a, T a t1b30 and I love a ot1b30 so I love a 30 bronzy or blondie color those are my favorites did any of your new co-workers recognize you from YouTube? Not yet. Surprisingly, not yet. The first week I started at my job, a lot of people were off because I started the week after Easter. So it was a lot of, all schools were out. So a lot of people had taken off for spring break. So it was pretty barren that first week. But these last couple weeks, nobody, if they recognize me, they haven't said anything. But I'm surprised they haven't. If you guys don't know, I have never talked about it. My last job was at a law firm, a big law firm, a corporate law firm. Um, so I was surprised that they actually recognized me because there weren't that many of us there but the few that did work there they actually recognized me so my new job is a lot more diverse than my past job and so I'm just like somebody somebody is gonna have at least thought about crochet hair at some point and maybe stumbled across my video so nobody as of yet but it did take my old co-workers maybe about nine months to recognize me but like a year ago I only had you know a thousand subscribers would you ever move out of Charlotte? If so, where I'd say DC is probably my favorite city outside of Charlotte that I would ever consider living. Atlanta, no. Would you ever be interested in launching your own type of crochet hair brand? I don't know, that's a good idea. When I saw this question, this is one of the few questions that I've seen beforehand because I saw it come up in my notifications. I actually, I was like, that's a good idea. I never thought about it. So often I think the crochet hair market is oversaturated. This curl looks similar to like 90 other curls out there. So it's like, how do I diversify myself in the crochet hair market? It would take some time and I would really have to think about it. But I would say it's not off the table. How long was your hair when you started your natural hair journey? When I started, when I went natural, so right when I went natural at February 2018, this is what my hair looked like. It was a hot, uneven, crappy ass mess. So that is how my hair looked at the 
beginning of my hair journey you guys have seen in recent videos how my hair has been thriving I think it's not always been about length with me with hair it's been about health with hair so my hair looks more healthier than now than it did before so hair was I don't know what that was I was a lot of heat damage it was a lot of college times what was the most challenging part about going natural I think I'm one of the few people who didn't have any challenges I was ready to go natural there was no benefits to being relaxed to me at the point in which I went natural and I didn't ever think about going back I'm not somebody who regretted going natural and like oh my hair I miss those relaxers I have gone from relaxers and I literally have never looked back because my hair looks 10 times better now than it ever I did relax how is your new job going did you meet your man there yet hi girl you know I'm looking but no not yet but I do have a good feeling about this place maybe not exactly at my job not exactly in my building but I do work in a business park type area so he may be in the vicinity I can feel him near at some points I'm like yep oh, is he here I gotta look cute as I walk around the business park on my way to the food truck just look a little cuter than I know like hey I think he might be there do you ever reuse your crochet hair no I think just because I, I do have this channel I'm probably never gonna repeat a hair never just because there's so many hairs that I need to try I at least have at least 40 hairs to try and that's gonna lead me into about five or six years of YouTube so I'm probably never going to reuse a hair so me keep and holding on to a hair will probably be just me hoarding it but you could I just can't could you do a video on how living in Charlotte is like absolutely if you guys want to see it I got a lot of questions about people wanting to know what Charlotte is like I could do it if you guys want to see it let me know down below now Charlotte ain't the biggest and baddest city but we are getting all-stars in 2019 so we are gonna probably show out so I can definitely vlog a North Carolina Charlotte all-star weekend down here I could definitely do that but if you guys wanted to see what a normal day is like in Charlotte I could definitely show you it's probably not the fun that you think it is but it's I like it I like it would you ever consider reviewing Kima braid Brazilian twist of course it's on the list it's a beautiful hair it's on the list what is your go-to braid pattern I love a straight back braid pattern you know you guys know I'm a creature of habit I love them braids to go straight back will you visit South Carolina anytime soon actually I'm gonna let you guys if you made it this far in the video and on a secret I go to South Carolina every single day five times a week not every single day but five out of seven days a week because I work in South Carolina now so I live in North Carolina work in South Carolina so I am there daily now I don't know what part of South Carolina you're talking about in terms of would I come to South Carolina? I don't know if Columbia or Charleston or wherever, but I'm there every day. So a good chunk of my time is spent in South Carolina. Plans on more wig reviews? Yes, I plan to do more wig reviews, just not as often as I used to, just because when I did wig reviews, I would actually wear the wigs. I'm not just reviewing them to not wear them. I will wear them for a week up to work in between my crochet styles. But since I just started this job, I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to, I already told them I switched my hair up a lot. Now, I didn't tell them about my channel or Leah LaVon, but on my very first day, they asked around the table and it's like, we're gonna go around and tell something unique about ourselves during my first day lunch. And I was like, Oh God, are they doing this because they know about my YouTube and they want me to say something about it? So when it got to me, I just said, I change my hair a lot. Uh, so get used to a girl who's gonna change her hair a lot. And they're like, oh, interesting. So they found that interesting. So they know already that I'm gonna be switching my hair up a lot. They don't know about the wigs thing. So I'm gonna ease them into the wigs thing too. I'm doing the crochet switch up. Now do the wig switch up. They're gonna be really, whoa, back and forth. My last job, every time I went from wigs to crochet hair to this to that, my real hair and all that, they would be, heads would be turning left and right. They couldn't keep up. So I'm trying to ease them into it. I'm gonna I'm 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 give them a little something. But then when I go full force, they ain't gonna know who they done hired. What is your favorite go-to brand of crochet hair? I'd have to say Main Concept has really been, you know, one of the best that I've tried so far. Now Main Concept is hating me right now. And I'm pretty sure it's because I kind of drag their marketing in my last video but I keeps it real with my audience but main concept you got some good hair but like I say in all my videos regarding main concept y'all never gonna sell if y'all don't get y'all tails on some shelves so that is the Q&A video of course if you have any additional questions leave them down below and I will type them out in my comment section if you are not subscribed already how did you make it through a whole video of me sitting talking about myself and not be enthused was it not pleasing are you not enthralled by Leah LaVon first of her name smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my other content make sure you're following me on Instagram at Leah LaVon 89 make sure you're following me on Snapchat at Miss Talia 89 and I will see you in my next video Thank you so much for watching.
Bye. Follow me, baby, make you follow me, follow me. I go give you all of me, all of me. One more two, she wants to say she moving to the baseline.